Wishing you the most festive of holiday seasons. I assume this is coming out sometime in December. If not, then it's the May holidays! Holidays! Which sounds like a sauce. But anyway, we wish you the bulbiest of um, festive seasons. Mwah, mwah. Unless you have Charmander, <laughs> in which case you can perish in flames. Speaking of Perishing Flames, we're here in the Pokemon Mansion. It is filled with rebel uh, debris. Rebel debris. <laughs> because of it was burnt down in a fire, I think. Or Mewtwo burnt it down. I don't know. I don't know the lore. Um, so, in this episode, we intend to find the key. But we may just as easily find more coughings. And we did. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm super lost and confused. And I'm just talking about my life in general. <laughs> um, is this the key? The key to having carbs? Uh, dang it. Oh, actually, while we're here, we're gonna give HM2 to... to <laughs> Kabuki! <laughs> my, my flying Kabuto! I guess if you've got good enough arm strength, any Kabuto can fly. <laughs> Like, I came out of extinction for this. We're gonna give some carbs to... Fairy! I like it. <laughs> Normally when I have carbs, my speed actually goes down. But, you know, <laughs> we shan't split hairs. Um... We're gonna, we're gonna keep... We're gonna keep things as going, as, as currently constituted. We're going to go down these stairs. That looks like it's probably it. Down... No. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why all the coughings? Why is this place filled with such pollution? Ah, oh, Pollution Solution. That would have been a good name for uh, Koga's Gym. Can't remember what I went with. Probably wasn't as good. Tybalt found a TM. This better be a good one. What have I found? I have found a, a blizzard. Warg makes the most sense. And yet, it goes to Kabuki. <laughs> Kabuki Blizzard! And that sounds like an ice cream you could have at a cultural appropriation restaurant. Um, I don't think I want to fight you. Really pretty. Oh! oh, wait, you don't want to fight me. Uh oh, where am I now? But. I'm not even gonna question this man. I guess he's just, <laughs> he's like a little bit keen on battling, but um, <laughs> only under duress. In comes Warg. Warg gets roared at. <laughs> the burglar's like, all right, Growlithe, time for us to fight. Growlithe comes out and goes, ah! It's super reflective. Ah, Warg was taken down. That was a little bit a little bit more than I wanted. But I think Ponyta should be okay for Warg. <laughs> Warg's like, Oh, I love Ponytas! They're my favorite! I drew some fan art! Do you want to see it? Ah, don't stomp on me! Don't stomp on me! Don't, don't, don't! <laughs> Whoa, I'm surfing now! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes, Warg is Seth Rogen. <laughs> Wasn't intended to be Seth Rogen, but that's that's what she morphed into. Yes, yeah, she's a girl, you know. Um... I don't want to risk it, but won't. So Kabuki comes into play. Kabuki says, Another 
For that, we will scratch. <laughs> Kabuki scratches. Yeah, okay. Yes, Kabuki's gonna be an opportunity for me to uh, use my terrible Japanese. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? If I run out of things to say, I'm just going to uh, kill Kabuki. Awoo, says the burglar, who's either turning into um, a werewolf or <laughs> Booker T's entrance theme. <laughs> Awoo! All right, Warg goes down here. Poot goes to the top of the pecking order. We use a super repel. Poot has a musky odor. Odor. Omer. <laughs> Omer Simpson. All right. Full restore. Excellent. I can't use it, and I hate it. <laughs> Thanks. I hate it. What? I used repel. Ah! I can't repel you. I guess if there's anything that wouldn't be repelled, it's a wheezing. For it smells quite, quite um, dour itself. I'm just looking for as many adjectives as I can get. Come on, man. Grimer! Wow! I haven't seen any of you yet. I'm gonna celebrate by running away. <laughs> That's what I do every time I want to celebrate something. You should see me at New Year. It's quite strange. It's like, Happy New Year! I just bolt out of the room as though it's catching fire. <laughs> what? I'm gonna press this. <laughs> I'm gonna press this and I'm going to um, move on from that conversational piece. Whoops! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I was uh, so fond of my switch pressing that I needed to um, press it again, for I did not realize the sheer enormity of my actions. So many items. None of them are keys, though. Key, 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 key. Yeah, there we go. That was me becoming a monkey. <laughs> All right, we will escape from this dreadful place now. I mean, it's, it's not that bad. I mean, there's pot plants, and they're kind of nice. And we will... Let's see what the s sneaky TM is. It's Solar Beam! Who can Solar Beam? Only Poot. Why not? Poot is trying to learn Solar Beam! We shan't get rid of Razor Leaf, however, because we need that versatility. Let's get rid of Cut. <laughs> Gen 1. Um... No more poisoning for you, Poot. Despite the fact you're now a poison type, you 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 poison nothing. You poison only the the watering hole <laughs> in an in an attempt to frighten Sheriff Woody. What? Okay. Okay. So now we will shuffle the deck. We will put Barry in here. We will put Stevie in here. We will unleash. The game-breaking Dugs, who's effectively easy mode, and we will also bring out Joe Evans, who's basically just annoying mode. We will recover our team, our dream team, <laughs> our dream team plus Joe Evans. Ooh, it feels good. I don't know who that was. I guess, I guess that's Petrie's voice. <laughs> Hello! Petrie here! I liked the way you recovered me! Thank you, sir! Okay, now now everyone has a voice. <laughs> we're, we're very inclusive. Everyone on our team has a voice. Oh yeah, um, also, because we are on a... Uh, technically, Cinnabar Island is its own place, so we're gonna catch a Pokémon here. <laughs> I know that we already got Pokemon in the Pokemon lab, but I, I play by my own damn rules. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a horsey! Isn't that just darling? <laughs> poot? Eat? Eat? No poot. Defeat? Defeat? No poot. Cuddle. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Yoda. Yoda poot. All right, uh, we will leech seed, and we will. Well, we'll 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 just leech seed because everyone else will kill this tiny little horsey. <laughs> I need someone who will protect this horsey, as though twere their own. There you go. This is Poot's daughter. What is Poot's daughter's name? I'm going to decide that after I capture her, obviously. Aw, look at her. 
fighting an uphill battle. She, she's really just a euphemism for life, isn't she? Oh, that's deep. I love her. She just keeps chipping away, you know? She just keeps on swimming. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna unleash the Ultra Ball. No, we're not. <laughs> I just realized that um, Ultra Balls are very valuable. And this horsey is not quite as valuable. Hooray! Horsey was caught! And we add Poot's daughter to the ranks. Known to shoot down flying bugs with precision blasts of ink from the surface of the water. Let's, um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who, who's a good sniper? Who, who shoots arrows? Um... Ah, ah! <laughs> Her name is gonna be... Sylvanas! No, Sylva... <laughs> Sylvamus! <laughs> because I can't spell. There you go. Poot's daughter Sylvamus was transferred to Bill's PC. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, into the gym we go. Do I have to unlock the door? No, I just I just keep the key on my person. Yo, champion making! The hot-headed Blaine is a fire Pokemon pro. Does his spirits with water. You better take some burn heals. No, I'm going to use Poot. Poot knows what to do. Kabuki! Welcome to the premiere of Kabuki. <laughs> Here on Channel 10. I was a thief, but I became straight as a trainer! Whoops! Oh, I wasn't intending on battling him. I was actually going to just, uh, do the Pokemon quizzes in the corner, but instead I, I fight the Burglar. And his Growlithe! And it's a higher level than Kabuki is prepared for, but that's okay. Kabuki goes, Oh, dame, dame! Daijoube, daijoube. <laughs> I don't know if um <laughs> I don't know if the <laughs> word for surf in Japanese is is, is safu, but tis now <laughs> Oh Kabuki. Because of my uh, fledgling Japanese, you're really not gonna have much to say, but you're gonna have much to do. For you look to be strong. <laughs> you look pretty fancy there. Kabuki, you look pretty good at fighting. Until you get confused, and you just fall in a heap. That's what I get for having faith in you, Kabuki. No, you're confused no more! Very deceptive! Yes? No. What? What? what why? Why? Why High Vulpix Special having is... <laughs> Sentences, sentences. <laughs> promises, promises. There we go. It'll be a clean sweep for Kabuki. Assuming Kabuki doesn't die at the hands of this Ninetales. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to lean into Kabuki's capabilities. And also hope that uh, Ninetales doesn't have any physical attacks. Does it? It might have Tackle. But Tackle is not effective against Kabuki, for Kabuki is made of the mighty rock. If you smell what Kabuki is cooking, uh, right now Kabuki is cooking. <laughs> I guess Kabuki does kind of look like it would be a, a delicious shellfish. Whoa! <laughs> what a sneaky deal that was! Hard to swallow indeed. Okay, Kabuki, thanks for playing. Petrie comes out. I've already forgotten Petrie's voice. Something. <laughs> I'm going to fly away now! Whoa! That's gonna be Petrie's voice now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry to Petrie. I'm sorry to Mother Teresa. <laughs> Most of all. Wow, Petrie is very fast. What an excellent uh, declaration. Kabuki gets experience! Petrie gets experience! Petrie levels up! <laughs> Kabuki doesn't believe in leveling up. Kabuki is uh, convinced that Kabuki is strongest at level 30. I can't help stealing other people's Pokemon. You just said you became straight! You lied to me! <laughs> With God as my witness. Alright, uh, Kabuki goes down. And Warg comes up. Warg! Do you know how hot fire Pokemon breath can get? Or is that Pokemon fire breath? <laughs> ah, damn it! I hate these scientists and these super nerds. But that's okay. Because Warg comes in. 
and War goes. Whoa! <laughs> Warg is Seth Rogen crossed with uh, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> You're gorgeous, Warg. Warg is unaffected, and wow, I'm, I'm not used to having Pokemon that are actually capable of doing things. You know, I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm a little startled by the the, the, the the depth of my roster. <laughs> right now, I feel like I can go ten deep against the Golden State Warriors. I probably could. The Warriors are terrible now. <laughs> <laughs> Raptors down snatched up their souls. Yeah. Now we're gonna use our strength. What is Warg's strength? Spelling, mostly. <laughs> Warg is an excellent typist. And nine tails. We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna let Warg run this out. We're gonna run out the stretch, Warg! Oh, hang on, you're- are you part ice type? No, I can't remember. Ah, nar, 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 none of that air. Meow. Warg is confused, but Warg shall still surf. <laughs> that seems unsafe, Warg. I don't think you should be surfing if you're, um, <laughs> if you're feeling confused. Tail whip, yeah, go ahead, see if I care. I'm not even confused anymore! Oh, Warg. Wonderful, wonderful Warg. Oh, not that wonderful. <laughs> sort of wonderful Warg. Warg uses strength. <laughs> Warg shows off her, um... Muscu <laughs> her muscular frame. Her pecs. Please don't show me your pecs, Warg. <laughs> and we defeated another friend. So thank you for watching, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and we will see you next time when we potentially fight Blaine! Who's to blame? He is. He's kinda lame. Or Lane! Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Just end the episode here.